Hi Simmies! Before I get into using Blender, I wanted to do a really quick overview of the interface. So this is specifically geared towards Sims for custom content artists. We will be using Blender 2.79, which you will need to download if you haven't already. And the reason we're using Blender 2.79 is because that interfaces with Sims 4 Studio, which is a program that allows you to build package files. Currently, it only works with Blender 2.76 or 2.79, so that is why I will be using Blender 2.79. There is a download link below where you can go right to Blender 2.79 downloads, and I just wanted to highlight this quickly because it can be confusing for which one to download. Make sure you're downloading 2.79b and choose the operating system that works for your computer setup. All right, let's get started. Before going into Blender and actually using it, I wanted to do a quick overview of the interface and what all these different panels are. So to start, I included a startup Blender file. So what you can do is open that Blender file, which I've already done here. And this specifically is a layout I made myself and I did it over lots of time creating Sims custom content and I found this is a really good layout that balances the windows so you can see all of the different features you need to um, but doesn't have anything extra. Um, Blender has a ton of different tools. You don't need hardly most of them for doing what we're doing. So um, what you do is when you first open this, if you want to make this your default Blender setup, which I have, you just open the Blender file and then go to File, Save Startup File. So now every time when you open Blender, you will just go to File, New, Reload Startup File, and it will open it with this as your view. So you can see there are quite a few different panels. Each of the different panels are kind of framed in with these little hatches here. So the first one is the top one, the Info Panel. So the info panel, it's basically just like your typical top menu. Um, the few things here you'll want to notice, Cycles Render, this is the rendering mode. I always use Cycles Render. I won't even talk about Cycles Blender, but you can, or sorry, Blender Render, but you can switch between them here. This is the version of Blender, so I will be using 2.79.7, which is the last 2.7. 7.9 Blender version, which I'll link below. And up here also, it shows your vertices, face, and triangle counts. Um, that is super helpful when you get into editing, and so it's nice to keep it right at the top. Directly below that, we have the 3D view. The 3D view is where you'll do all of your mesh editing. Um, you get the 3D view for both just looking at the object by itself, its placement. Also, when we get into mesh editing, that's where you'll be editing the mesh. So that's what the 3D view here is for. You can toggle between the different modes down here. We don't have any objects in here, but when we do, it'll show the different modes. There are different display views um, here when you have objects, which I'll go into over the next tutorial. Um, these are this is your toolbar here on the left and on the right. This is how you navigate with the 3d view Next we have the outliner panel So when you have objects in here, this is where they'll show up the outliner panel. It's basically Just I would look at it as a summary of all the objects in the in your blender view This is the properties panel the properties panels where you define materials where you bake um, there's a lot of different tools in here that we'll go into. Um, the main things here are baking, which is what the tab is on now, and uh, materials, which I'll get into the next uh, tutorial. This is the node view. Um, the node view is directly related to Cycles Render. If you're using Blender Render, you won't be using this node view. It can be super intimidating if you watch tutorials. It really isn't, I promise, it's super easy. Um, but this is where you'll define the materials that you make up, uh, that make up your object. And then finally, we have the UV image editor, which will show up here. And this is where you look at both your image and the UV map that goes with that image. Um, each of these panels you can customize 
how you want them. Um, at the bottom left of each panel is how you choose. So if you want, you could have made this a 3D view. Um, you could make these all 3D views if you want. Um, so you can really customize how you want it. But again, I found this layout works really well for Sims 4 custom content. It's, it's what I use. And um, if you want to follow along with my tutorials, this is the setup I will be using. So thanks for watching.